I'm inviting you come to ground zero willingly and face what you fear. Be willing to be acutely discomfort, discomfort, uncomfortable. Why not? Why not go to go to zero point with it? Because you're spending so much energy fearing it. You're spending so much energy with fearing to hit, uh, you know, ground zero. So, I'm inviting you come to ground zero willingly. Tell the mind throw your best punch. But what I'm going to do, I'm not going to grapple or struggle with you. I'm simply just going to be here like we're here now, quiet observing. But I'm not writing a report. So I don't want the journalist. Just look. It's as though you exist through your eyes only. You're just to look. Don't participate, just look. And face what you fear. Because unless you touch that point, it will keep on repeating itself, you see. It will always come and shake the finger in front of you and ah, ah. So why not just see what happened? A tremendous amount of energy is spent to try and prevent a calamity that you imagine is going to happen. A lot of energy goes into this, you see. So invite it. Open the door to it. So many years ago, a little boy, young man, 17 years old, 16 years old, had an experience that he was going to die. He was going to die. He felt it so strongly and he was alone. He was sitting in his uncle's room. He felt, I'm going to die. And he didn't call the doctor. They didn't shout for his uncle. He had a sensation, a feeling inside him. If I'm going to die, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. I want to watch the moment when the lights go out. So I'm going to help death. So he went in the middle of the room and stretched himself out like a corpse because he'd seen many corpses before. He stretched himself out and waited for death to happen. And he could feel all types of strange energies moving in the body. But he was not backing out. And he came to a certain point of seeing that whatever is going to happen to the body, there's something here which is totally unaffected by all of this. And death did not come. And that boy became well known in the world all over. His name was Ramana Maharishi. You have your moment as well too. You have your moment to face what it is that you're afraid of. You're not made of less noble substance than Ramana. Sometimes each person like Christ, you have to spend your 40 days in the wilderness. Now everything is fast. We can't even spend four hours there to look and see what it is that's burning for you, what it is that's burning, burning, and not run. Don't hide under the bed. Here, you say, okay, come, let me see what it is. Because if I don't take the opportunity to look at what it is, I may be frightened for the rest of my life. And then at a certain point when you've seen it, then you can begin to ignore it because you've seen what it is. You know who is knocking at the door.